phenocyclidin or PCP was first tested in the mid 1950s by Park Davis and company as a potential anesthetic agent. However, early studies revealed that the drug produced an unusual kind of anesthesia. When given a sub anesthetic dose of PCP, subjects reported feeling detached from their body, a floating numbness, and sometimes coupled with a dreamlike state. They also experienced loneliness, hostility towards the experimenters, or alternatively, euphoria and inebriation towards them. Some subjects experience hallucinations, sweet agitation and even psychotic behaviour. These problems caused the clinical use of PCP to be terminated in 1965. The abandonment of PCP as a medication did not prevent it from its street use. In 1967, PCP found its way onto the streets of several cities. By the mid-1970s, PCP use and abuse under the street name Angel Dust had become more widespread across the country. Yet the popularity of this drug never reached that of marijuana, cocaine or even heroin. The drug's use subsequently declined to rather low levels as seen today. When smoking the drug, the duration is around 3-6 to six hours, with a very short onset. The effects of PCP are highly dose dependent. Lower doses would give moderate stimulation and visual distortion. A high dose could cause strange and uncontrollable behaviour. However, a person's mental history and prior drug use also plays a role. Regular use is likely to alter a person's behaviour and thought pattern, along with even experiencing bouts of depression. PCP prevents monoamine reuptake, increasing the amount of dopamine, norepinephrine and serotonin. The increase of dopamine is particularly higher in the prefrontal cortex. The target site of PCP is the NMDA receptor. This is a receptor to the excitatory neurotransmitter called glutamate. The cerebral cortex and the hippocampus contain a significant number of NMDA receptors. The blocking of these receptors by PCP is thought to contribute to the cognitive defects that the drug produces. PCP may help us understand psychological disorders such as schizophrenia. This is based on two related findings. First, that the acute PCP exposure causes perceptual, cognitive and affective responses closely resembling many of the symptoms with schizophrenia. Second, the administration of the drug to patients with schizophrenia exacerbates their psychotic symptoms. A research group at Yale University had carried out an experiment on monkeys giving them two daily doses of PCP over a course of weeks. The results showed that the monkeys had severe defects with actions involving the prefrontal cortex, which is believed to be dysfunctional in patients with schizophrenia. Repeated PCP treatment also led to significant reduction in dopamine utilization in the prefrontal cortex and dopamine hypofunction, which is thought to occur in schizophrenia. Chronic PCP administration to non-human primates can give us some understanding of the workings of schizophrenia that may help us uncover at least some of the mechanisms of this disorder. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.